Analysis of the Poem Ode to a Nightingale by John Keats Ode to a Nightingale is a beautiful and introspective poem written by the romantic poet John Keats in the spring of 1819. Let's delve into its themes and meaning. Keats' exquisite use of imagery and symbolism transports the reader to a world where nature and the human experience intertwine. The poem explores the transient nature of life, the contrast between the ideal and the real, and the concept of escapism through the nightingale's song. Keats' keen observations and emotional depth are evident throughout the poem, inviting readers to contemplate the fleeting beauty of existence and the longing for transcendence. The richness of Keats' language and the exploration of universal themes make Ode to a Nightingale a timeless piece that continues to resonate with readers across generations. Setting and Mood The poem opens with the speaker conveying a profound feeling of numbness and weariness, likening it to the sensation of having consumed poison or an opiate, as if every step and breath were a struggle. The imagery suggests a profound state of emotional and physical exhaustion creating a powerful contrast with the potential vitality and energy associated with life. This introduction sets the tone for a deeper exploration of the speaker's inner turmoil and the struggles he faces, drawing the reader into the emotional landscape of the poem. He hears the melodious song of a nightingale, which transports him to a magical, otherworldly place. The enchanting melody seems to resonate with the surrounding nature, creating a symphony of peace and tranquility. As the nightingale continues its serenade, the air fills with the sweet fragrance of exotic flowers, and the moon casts a gentle glow over the landscape, turning ordinary scenes into mesmerizing wonders. It's as if time stands still in this realm allowing him to embrace the ethereal beauty and find solace in the harmonious union of sound, scent, and sight. Desire for escape, the speaker's yearning for a draft of vintage, reflects a deep desire to find solace, even momentarily, in the intoxicating embrace of nostalgia and indulgence. This longing suggests a need for an escape from the harshness of reality, a temporary respite from the pressures and challenges of everyday life. The mention of a vintage drink also carries connotations of luxury and refinement, hinting at a desire for a taste of elegance and sophistication that might bring comfort and reassurance. He yearns for a beaker of wine from the warm south, filled with the mythical Hippocrene, a fountain of inspiration for poets. The wine, with its deep crimson hue, carried the essence of sun-ripened grapes and the whispers of ancient vines. As he savored each sip, the rich flavors of the land unfolded like a captivating story, invoking visions of rolling vineyards and golden-hued sunsets. With every taste, The velvety texture and lingering notes ignited a sense of wanderlust, transporting him to distant landscapes where time moved at a leisurely pace and the echoes of history lingered in the air. The longing to escape the confines of this world and immerse oneself in the enchanting realm of the nightingale's forest grows stronger with each passing day. The allure of the serene woods illuminated by the soft glow of moonlight, beckons with the promise of tranquility and a deeper connection with nature. To leave behind the daily worries and join the nightingale in its melodic symphony is to embrace a sense of freedom and harmony that is often elusive in the bustling world. Nature and Immortality The nightingale's enchanting melody has resonated through the centuries captivating hearts with its ethereal music that speaks to the soul. Its delicate, 
yet powerful voice carries the essence of eternal beauty and artistry, weaving a tapestry of enchantment that transcends time. As it sings amidst the moonlit serenity, it embodies the very essence of summer joy and ease, evoking a sense of tranquility and a reminder of nature's enduring grace. The speaker, in contrast, is burdened by human suffering, aging, and mortality. This burden weighs heavily on their shoulders, influencing every word they speak and every thought they form. The weight of witnessing the pain and struggles of humanity can be overwhelming, leaving the speaker with a deep sense of empathy and understanding. As they experience the passage of time, the specter of aging serves as a constant reminder of the transient nature of life, adding a poignant depth to their perspective. And in the face of mortality, the speaker confronts the inevitable, grappling with the profound impact it has on their worldview and the urgency it instills in their words. The nightingale's song becomes a symbol of immortality, contrasting with the fleeting nature of human existence. Negative capability. Keats's exploration of negative capability reflects a deep appreciation for the complex and enigmatic aspects of human experience. This concept calls for a departure from the relentless pursuit of clear-cut answers and instead encourages a willingness to dwell in the realm of ambiguity, where the richness of life's mysteries can be fully appreciated. By advocating for the acceptance of uncertainty, Keats invites us to engage with the world in a more open and receptive manner allowing for the possibility of profound insights that may otherwise remain obscured by the confines of strict rationality. The nightingale embodies this idea as its song transcends human understanding. Escaping through poetry, the speaker's desire to soar to the nightingale on the viewless wings of poesy reflects a profound longing for artistic transcendence. Through the captivating power of poetry, he yearns to escape the confines of earthly existence and journey into the realm of imagination and beauty. The symbolism of the nightingale, with its enchanting song and association with creativity, further amplifies the allure of this flight of fancy on the wings of poetic inspiration. Despite the brain's confusion, Poetry allows him to connect with the nightingale song and escape his own troubles. The rhythm of the verses creates a soothing cadence, providing a brief respite from the chaos of daily life. As imagery unfolds in the lines, the mind is transported to tranquil landscapes, where worries dissipate like morning mist. Emotions intertwine with the poet's words fostering a deep sense of empathy and understanding for the human experience. Whether reading or writing, poetry serves as a sanctuary, allowing individuals to explore their innermost thoughts and find solace in the beauty of expression. Contrast with reality. The speaker acknowledges that the nightingale's song is an illusion. He cannot see the flowers or incense in the dark forest. However, he imagines the fragrance of the blossoms lingering in the air and the petals scattering softly on the ground, painted in the moonlight. Despite the darkness, he can almost feel the gentle breeze carrying the sweet scent and the faint glow of the celestial bodies casting a serene atmosphere over the enigmatic woods. Still, the idea of dying while the nightingale sings seems appealing. Immortal Bird The poem concludes by acknowledging the nightingale's immortality. The immortal status of the nightingale is a reflection of its enduring presence in literature and mythology throughout history. Its captivating song has inspired countless poets and writers, becoming a timeless symbol of beauty, love, 
and longing. The nightingale's ethereal melody, often heard in the stillness of the night, has woven its way into the fabric of human culture, transcending generations and leaving an indelible mark on the collective consciousness. In many traditions, the nightingale is revered as a harbinger of joy and renewal, its enchanting voice heralding the arrival of spring and carrying messages of hope and resilience. Indeed, the nightingale's immortality lies not only in its mythical longevity, but also in its capacity to stir the depths of human emotion and imagination, resonating across ages and civilizations. The bird song has been heard by people throughout history, including Ruth and others, who found solace in its melodious tunes during times of trouble and uncertainty. The chirping of birds has inspired countless poets, writers, and artists, serving as a timeless source of inspiration and a reminder of the beauty of nature. From the tranquil melodies of the countryside to the bustling sounds of the city, the avian symphony echoes through the ages, connecting generations and cultures in a shared appreciation for the wonders of the natural world. The word forlorn tolls like a bell, reminding the speaker of his own mortality. It reverberates through his mind, stirring up memories of past regrets and missed opportunities. The melancholic sound fills the air, intertwining with the soft whispers of a gentle breeze, creating a haunting symphony of introspection and nostalgia. Each toll of the word echoes with the weight of unfulfilled dreams and unspoken desires, leaving the speaker enveloped in a bittersweet realization of the fleeting nature of life. In summary, Ode to a Nightingale reflects Keats's longing for escape, his fascination with nature, and his exploration of the limits of human experience. The nightingale becomes a symbol of beauty, art, and the eternal.